Hi everyone, Mr Lockwood here. Returning home from work today, I discovered that I'd been sent a padlock, a 50mm laminated abus. This one comes from Andrew Clo in Melbourne, a friend and fellow picker. He thought that I might like to have one to have a play with. So 4150, made in Germany. Um, I don't know where else they make them. He did mention when he first said about sending it up to me, but I honestly can't recall off the top of my head. And the thing that I like about it, without even having a pick at it yet, is that it has a pin tumbler core. Yale style keyway, maybe mini Yale, but still I'll get a bit more light on it. It's still a Yale-esque. That's terrible for focus. Try again. There we go. Oh, come on camera, do your thing. There we go. Very Yale-esque. Well, I did think it was similar to the Master Lock. Lock out, tag out. Keyway. But it turns out that it's just not quite the same. So these ones won't fit and vice versa. Anyway. I have an old Lockwood 50mm. And this is an older one. It has a wafer core. And it's very disappointing. It's the same style of wafer core that they have in their zinc bodied locks. Same keyway. Come on, focus. Same keyway, same wafer system. These ones come with four wafers, I think. And they're sort of dicky little locks. This comes with five wafers. And it has the pick resistance of a wet paper bag. I'll see if I can do this without embarrassing myself now that I've said that. They don't take much to rake at all. Single wafer pickings, very similar. Just lean on it a little bit, feel through for the binding wafers, and they pop. But let's have a look at this Abus. See if the pins put up any more resistance than wafers. If this core is anything like the lockout tag outs, the 7140 or the 7240? I think it's a 7140. I honestly can't remember off the top of my head. Um, it will actually have some security pins in it, whether they be serrated or spool or a mixture of both. Okay, there's some spring to the core, not heaps, it's not tight like a, an American or a master. So we'll just put medium tension on it so we don't bind up things too much. We'll start from the back of the keyway, peel our way forwards till we... Okay, that felt like it was either gritty or serrated, but then as soon as it popped, go sells a bit of a false set going on. Okay, pin one now is not springy, so we'll feel him, see what we got going on. Okay, bit of counter rotation, bit of spool action. Okay, back into our false set. Pin 1 feels like it's set now, so as I set pin 1, pin 3 must have dropped down, and then putting the pick up there was enough to reset it. Let's feel through again for any feedback. Feels like pin 4, a bit of counter rotation, but I've also just dropped a pin. Okay, I've got to click on pin 4 now. Back into our false set, and it looks like we dropped pin one, so maybe I picked that out of order. Okay, that's pin one picked again. Back into our false set, peeling through for speed bumps. Feels like pin two, and we're open. Okay, interesting little pick.
didn't seem to put up much of a fight. But still, interesting pick and nice little lock. Thank you very much for that, Andrew. Nice and smooth with the key. There you go. Abus 4150. Thanks for watching.